Hello there and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you how to crochet these very cute and adorable little baby socks. They are made in this wonderful soft yarn called Drops Baby Merino. For the purpose of this video I am using a bit thicker yarn. This is called Drops Merino Extra Fine. And for this I am using a 4mm crochet hook. The first thing I'm gonna have to do is to make a magic circle. So I'm going to place my yarn over my two fingers like this and wrap the yarn around my fingers and make a little cross. Then I'm going to take my crochet hook down underneath and grab my working yarn. And I'm now going to make a chain. And I'm going to make one more chain. So there I have my magic circle and into my magic circle I will make 12 half double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over Insert my hook into the circle, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. And I will do that 12 times. And as I go I can just pull my yarn tail here to close the circle. I have now made all my 12 half double crochet and I will just pull my yarn tail one last time to close the hole tight. And I will make a slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And to start round two I'm going to chain one and into my first stitch I'm going to make two half double crochet. And I will make a half double crochet into the next stitch. And I will repeat that all the way around so that I have a half double crochet increase and a half double crochet in between. And I now have 18 stitches in total. So I'm going to end this round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will chain one to start round three. And in round three I'm going to make a half double crochet increase in the first stitch. So I will make two half double crochet into the first stitch. And I will make a half double crochet into the next two stitches. And I will repeat that all the way around so that I have a half double crochet increase and a half double crochet into the next two stitches. I have now made 12 half double crochet increases all the way around and I now have a total of 24 stitches. And I will end this round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And for round 4 to round 10 I'm going to make a half double crochet in every stitch around. So I will chain 1 and make a half double crochet into every stitch. And here at the end of row 10 I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. For round 11 I'm going to chain 12. And then I'm going to skip 12 stitches. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And here into the next stitch I'm going to make a half double crochet. And I will make a half double crochet into the next 11 stitches.
And here at the end, I'm going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And what I have created here is a little hole where my heel is supposed to be. And for round 12 to 19, I'm going to make a half double crochet into every stitch around. And I will just make a slip stitch into the first stitch of round 19. And I will now fasten off my yarn. And the next thing that we're going to do is to make the ribbing here in the top edge of our sock. So I'm going to attach my yarn here into the back. And here from the edge, I'm going to chain 11. And to make the ribbing, I'm going to start with making a row of single crochet. So I'm going to make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And into the next nine chains. I will now attach my first row of my ribbing to the edge of the sock and I will do that by making a slip stitch into the next two stitches. Then I'm going to turn my work. I will skip the two slip stitches and I will make a single crochet into the next 10 stitches. But I will only be working into the back loops. So I will insert my hook here into the back loop and make a single crochet. And working into the back loops is what creates the ribbing effect. And here into the last stitch I'm going to work into both loops of the stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And I will make a single crochet in every stitch of the row, working into the back loops only. And again I will attach the ribbing to the edge of my sock by making a slip stitch into the next two stitches. And I will turn my work. And I will just repeat this process all the way around the edge of the sock till I have a total of 24 rows. I have now made a total of 24 rows and I will now fasten off my yarn leaving a long tail for sewing. So I'm going to cut and fasten off. And I will now sew the edges of the ribbing together with the mattress stitch. And I will just turn my work inside out. And in the end, I will sew in my ends. And the only thing left to do now is to make the heel in my sock. So I will attach my yarn here into the middle back of my sock. 
insert my hook and chain one. And I'm now going to make a half double crochet into the next five stitches. And here into the corner, I'm going to double crochet three together. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Then I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, which is this one, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Then yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And one last time I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the four loops on the hook. I will now make a half double crochet into the next 10 stitches. And again I will double crochet three together. So again I will yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert my hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And one last time, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all the four loops on the hook. And I will now make a half double crochet into the last five stitches. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And to start the second round of my heel I'm going to chain one and I will make a half double crochet into the first four stitches. And again I will double crochet three together. And I will make a half double crochet into the next eight stitches. Again I will double crochet three together. I will make a half double crochet into the last four stitches. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And to start the third round of my heel, I'm going to chain one and I will make a half double crochet into the first three stitches. And I will double crochet three together. Then I will make a half double crochet into the next six stitches. And again I will double crochet three together. And I will make a half double crochet into the last three stitches. And I will end my round with a slip stitch into the first stitch. And I will fasten off my yarn. And I will now sew the little hole here in my heel together with the mattress stitch. And for that I will just turn my work inside out. And at last I will sew in my ends. And 
And that is how you make the cutest little baby socks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. If you have any idea for what I could make in my next video, please feel free to write me down in the comment section. I would love to hear what you think. Hope to see you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.